you saw the example 4.1 from the book Mekong Kenti Distorts. Here is the statement of the example 4.1. A 1 kg of steam at 7 bar entropy that is 6.5 kJ per kg Kelvin is heated reversibly at a constant pressure. Remember the pressure is constant until the temperature is 250 centigrade reached. So the Calculate the heat supplied. So we need to calculate the heat supply and also show on a TS diagram the area which represent the heat flow. So we need to find the uh, calculate heat, heat. Need to calculate the heat that is supplied and it should be shown on the uh, TS diagram. So let me solve this example 4.1 for you. So mass of the steam that is 1 kg. So the pressure P1 at a state point P1 that is 7 bar remember and entropy at state 1 that is given that is 6.5 kilojoule per kg Kelvin is heated now is heated reversibly at a constant pressure so for the next state the pressure is remained the same that is P2 and it is again 7 bar but in this case when it is heated its a temperature reached to 250 centigrade so the temperature t2 that is 250 centigrade remember for every to define the state in a thermodynamics you need a two independent property so here the state point 2 we have two independent property we can easily calculate the uh, where our state will be point will lie okay so first I will draw a TS diagram for you so you can have a better understanding about it. This is the TS diagram. So this is the constant pressure line let's say that is 7 bar. This is 7 bar constant pressure line. Now we don't know what where the state point P1 uh, the state point 1 will lie and where the state point 2 will lie on the basis of the data we will conclude that uh, where the state point 1 and 2 will be in this TS diagram okay so from the data that is given in the statement that is P1 7 bar and entropy that is 6.5 kJ per kg now come to this uh, steam table that have extracted from you from the list of the steam table because we have concern about this portion that's why I included it in this screen so the pressure that is 7 bar and its corresponding saturated entropy that is SG remember this SG will lie at this point so I can say this SG1 and this is S saturated liquid line. This is a saturated liquid line and its entropy at this point at 7 bar that is SF1. Now the entropy that is given that is S1 6.5 kJ per kgk. So this entropy S1 is less than SG1. So the value of SG1 that is 6.708 kJ per kg. So the S1 value is less than SG1 and the value of SG1 that is 6.708 kJ per kg. That's why our state point is lying within this dome shape of the TS diagram so it is in the bit region so here I can say it's or state point one lie in this uh, weight region so if it is in the weight region we will need to find its transfection as well so what is the SF1 value that is 1.992 kilojoule per kg k and the difference of these two values is SFG1 that is equal to 
4.716 kilojoule per kg okay next we need to find its trans fraction we know from the expression that s1 is equal to sf1 plus trans fraction difference of sfg1 here we have calculated that so now putting the values you will get the x trans fraction value so here i am writing the x that is equal to s1 minus sf1 divided by sfg1 now put the values in these equations you will get the x value so s1 is 6.5 minus sf1 that is 1.992 divided by 4.716 sorry so you will get the dryness fraction that is 0.955 so this is the dryness fractions because it is in the wind region there must be the dryness fraction the highest trans fraction value is 1 then it means that it is in associated line so this value will be maximum that is sg1 if the value is greater than this sg1 then it will come in the superheated then that is not our concern here on this state point 1 next we need to find the h1 value at the set point so h1 is equal to hf 1 plus x hf g1 so hf1 from the steam table you can see that is 697.2 697.2 kilojoule per kg okay. and hf g1 value we need to calculate it's very simple just subtract this hf1 value from hg1 so what is the hg1 that is 2764 2764 kilojoule per kg kilo now subtract this hg1 from hg1 SF, HF1 from this HG1 you will get the HFG1 value and that 66.8 kilojoule per kg kilo. Now put this value in this equations you will find the H1 value. So HF1 is 697.2 plus X is 0.955 multiply by hfg1 that is 266.8 so after multiplication you will get its value that is h1 that is equal to almost 26 171 kilojoule per kg okay so this is the entropy at the state point h1 next we need to calculate entropy at the state point 2 so before coming to the state point 2 where it will be located inside this dome shape or outside this shredded line so let me clear that the pressures p2 that is given 7 bar and the temperature that is 250 centigrade comes in the superheated region so if that is in the superheated regions it will be on the right side of this curve line the associated line so it will be here so these are our state point one to two now you are clear about where the why the state point one is inside this region and state point two is outside these regions i hope you clear it and understand it if you still have any confusion you can comment 
in the comment sections i will respond accordingly so this is the shaded region where heat is supplied if you look at here the values 240 and 280 the corresponding temperature 250 is not available so it is obvious that and the corresponding uh, values of enthalpy is also not available so we will do interpolating interval by using interpolations you will find the uh, enthalpy uh, at uh, 7 bar and 250 centigrade so let me uh, write the enthalpy formula in in terms of interpolation so we need to find the enthalpy at state point h2 that will be equal to h a plus h b minus h a divided by t b minus t a into t2 minus t a so let me understand you that what is uh, h b what is h a what is t b what is t a so you can not confuse in the exam remember the higher value in between you are finding the uh, you are um, using the interpolations formula this will be h a and this will be h so this is so this is the temperature so it will be t a and this is will be t b this is t b so similarly this is the h value this will be h a and this will be the h b value so after using this interpolations formula we will get its h2 value that is h a so h a is 2932 plus what is h b that is 300 17 317 minus h a that is so the difference of 280 to 240 you will get that is 40 and what is t2 that is 250 minus t a that is 240 so if you subtract that it will give you 10 so this zero will be cancelled out with this zero now the h2 value you will get after simplification that is around about 2954 kilojoule per kg remember the interpolations formula will give you the approximate value not the exact value so don't be confused with it next thing that is we need to find the heat that is supplied so the heat that is supplied is the difference of enthalpy at h2 minus h1 so what is enthalpy at h2 that is 2954 minus h1 that is 2671 so after subtractions you will find that the heat that is supplied is 283 kilojoule per kg kel so this is the heat that is supplied in this example 4.1 i hope you understand the statement the examples and the corresponding concepts that is used uh, if you have still in confusions you can comment in the comment section please subscribe and share my channels with your